and that call only went out about three days ago, but the organization tells us that they've already been able to fill up this truck with about $9,000 worth of items, which they're getting ready to ship off to Ocrico. We had someone donate uh, the funds to provide um, gym shoes for the students, so we got a big case of gift cards that will go out to the individual students. Lisa Pelletier Harmon volunteered to help send the collected school supplies across to Ocracoke Island on the ferry. Caseland Moore collected the donation sent in by Carteret County residents after reading a Facebook post from a teacher on the island asking for help with supplies. A friend of mine reached out to me individually and then she asked me to help and I said I would help. So we got a couple businesses together. Local businesses are helping as well, acting as collection points. Harmon is helping to take this first set of donations across the Ocracook Island so they don't get ruined by the rain. We've learned that when you work together, you achieve more. And being Barrier Island people, we will come to each other's aid anytime we can. And they are still taking donations throughout the week. If you'd like to give away any items, be sure to visit our website to get more information as to where you can drop off those items. In Cedar Island, Doria Chumba for News Channel 12.